to celebrate the most unbelievable crossover in gaming history of Minecraft coming to Super Smash Bros Ultimate, today we'll be looking at how the world reacted to Steve and Alex's announcement. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like button to help make YouTube spread this video and also subscribe just by hitting the subscribe button, pretty simple, which will allow you to see more awesome Nintendo content like this. So after years and years of wishful thinking, Nintendo decided and Sakurai actually accepted the idea of Steve from the world's best selling video game of all time, Minecraft, to be put into Super Smash Bros Ultimate as a playable fighter. And I have never been happier for any other character to join Smash. Even King K. Rool, I'm just gonna say it, I'm, I'm mind blown. To say I'm excited would literally be the understatement of the year. Here was my overall first reaction to this announcement. What the fuck? What? What? They're actually adding Steve? What? 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 How? What? What? They actually added Minecraft to Smash Ultimate. That looks so cool. What? What is this final sm <laughs> what? It's real! After all the years of fake leaks and mods. <laughs> Clearly I was very, very excited, but my visible excitement can't even be compared to the actual excitement I felt and still feel inside. This would probably more accurately represent it. As stated before, Minecraft is the best selling video game of all time, taking the first place position of Tetris after so many years. And because of this, some may consider Steve to be the most iconic video game character of all time. And to actually see him join the roster for Super Smash Bros Ultimate, a game that is literally a celebration of gaming, by combining the worlds and characters from hundreds of different video game franchises is just perfect. Now I love Smash as a fighting game, like I have probably almost 500 50 hours in Smash Ultimate alone, but honestly when it comes to Smash, my favourite part about it is seeing who the next character or franchise will get represented next. Like it's just so exciting and amazing. It builds up so much hype inside you, and the effort Nintendo puts into these announcements is one of the main reasons for this. There are amazing and breathtaking cutscenes that build up tension and suspense to see who is coming next is a feeling that will just, ne it'll, it'll never get old. It's sad to think we've only got four more announcements. And seeing a new franchise being put next to the crossover logo next to the Smash logo is just so cool. Now obviously I'm not the only one excited for Steve, so let's take a look at the best reactions from YouTube from this breathtaking crossover announcement. Yes! But no! No, I have the creeper! It's not Steve! It's not freaking Steve! If it's Steve, I'm dead! It's Steve! What? What? What the heck? It's what is my crap? Was it Steve? No! 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 Yeah, crazy, right? It's almost like people wanted this guy to join Smash or something. Shortly, we're going to take a look at some memes and fan art I found online in regards to this announcement. But first, let me tell you a story of how Nintendo broke Twitter. Within the Smash community, and even outside Smash fans, adding any sort of Minecraft content to the game was just considered a huge meme. Yeah, people desperately wanted it like me, but a lot of us just had huge doubts. Something just didn't seem right. We just never thought Nintendo would actually do it. Yet here we are today. 2020's not so bad after all. And the main reason was because Steve would just be a very hard character to develop and make him fit into Smash Bros. But it turns out, Sakurai was up for the challenge. That absolute mad lad. This man needs some serious director or developer awards like this guy like come on he spoils us look how many characters there are plus Min Min and Steve back on topic Steve was one of those what if characters he was never a when's it gonna happen character like Crash Bandicoot because come on clearly Crash is gonna be one of the four remaining fighters it'll just complete the 90s gaming icons of like Mario Sonic and Crash like 
it, it's gotta happen. Anyway, Steve was just a character that no one could confirm or deny, but was always memed about possibly joining. So obviously, when this idea materialized, it blew up insanely quickly. The internet was freaking out, and people were just clearly losing their minds, like me. So much so, that due to so much traffic from Steve being announced for Smash, it literally overloaded the Twitter servers and crashed and needed to be restarted. Now, I could be wrong on this one, but I heard that the last time Twitter crashed was when Michael Jackson died. Yeah, Steve's traffic matches Michael Jackson's death. What? And that leads us to our first meme in the meme slash fan art segment of Nintendo and Sakurai breaking the internet with Steve. Sit back, laugh, and admire these epic images that people have created to celebrate Steve and Alex with some beautiful Minecraft music. Now that concludes our celebratory video of Minecraft content actually coming to Super Smash Bros Ultimate. If it wasn't obvious, I am in awe and cannot believe that this is actually a real thing. It's not fake, it's act Steve is coming to Smash. I've never done this type of video before for a character announcement, so that just proves Steve is triggering some new threads of hype that I have never experienced before. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this announcement. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe. And very soon, I get to watch Mr. Sakurai present Steve and Alex. Hopefully some more cool stuff will be shown there, and maybe we'll get the reveal of the Banjo, Terry, and Byleth amiibo, and who knows, we might even get a cool new me costume like they always do. Thanks for watching.